Okay, hey everybody. This is Stacy Aguirre from CLIPA, the Christmas Light Installation Pros Association. This is our first episode of the 2021 Coffee with CLIPA. I have mine right here. So nice to see everybody. It's a cup of cheer right there. What do you got going there, Ryan? Cheers. I got some uh, some whole bean decaf from Carolina Roasters in Greensboro. <laughs> and okay, let's zero Fox given. That's perfect. Oh, That's exactly. <laughs> Bug encapsulate Christmas business right here, people. <laughs> so necessary. Okay, why don't you introduce yourself and let us know a little bit about who you are, what you do, um, and just anything you want to share with our viewers. Go for it. Sure. Well, uh, first of all, my name is Ryan Palmer. Um, my current position is as the integration manager for S4 Lights. I've uh, been in the commercial installation business now since... Uh, 1996, uh, focusing on consumer events since 2008. I've um, been in a lot of venues, different scenarios, and uh, and production of all types and, and sizes. But I started uh, really focusing on Christmas in 2009. Uh, started at Bush Gardens Williamsburg, and during that, I installed uh, a myriad of every kind of S4 product um, you could rattle off. Um, that job site is a 300 acre property. Uh, 22 generators, nine miles of power installation, and every light imaginable. So uh, commercial and large scale has been my thing um, since day one. And uh, as the integration manager for S4 Light, my job is just to bring awareness uh, to how things can be used, how they're going to react in the field, and uh, empower you guys to make events. Uh, for residential, commercial, whatever you're doing, that I uh, look good on the uh, look as good on closing day as they do on opening day, and um, bring my uh, depth and knowledge and experience to that. And uh, since uh, Clippa and S4 formed a relationship, I've gotten to talk to ton ton of you uh, Clippa members out there about your unique projects and installations you have going on, and uh, always here and happy to help. That's great. So you've been working on very small projects, like you said, since 2009. <laughs> yeah, those that's amazing. 300 acres and talking about generators and all of that. I mean, some of some of our clip of members are just trained into the industry. They may not even know anything that we're talking about, but that's OK. That's why we're here to educate you guys. So um, and some some of our clip of members are seasoned professionals. They know everything inside and out. But S4 has like some really amazing product and being a clip of preferred vendor, um, then it's, it's really amazing to have like access to you, right? Like that's, that's so good because you have so much knowledge and you have so much information to share that I'm just super excited to get to it. And, um, Alexander just posted that he bought S4 lights yesterday for the first time. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Man. So <laughs> yeah, call Ryan. He's available 24 7. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you need help, because he loves Pretty. Christmas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, so just a, a little background, too, um, since I'm here and you, maybe you guys may not know me, um, I've been in the Christmas industry for this is my 18th season, was last season. Um, I started out with a Decorolite Industries here in Southern California and was there for 17 years. And here I am now with Clippa being the director of sales and marketing. It's amazing. Um, to be here. But the really great thing I love about Clippa is the community and the people that are that are so they they just are open right here at Clippa. Everyone talks about what the projects they're doing. They have they ask questions. And you know, if you guys are part of the forum, then you know sometimes it gets a little strange in there, but that's exactly how I like it to be, <laughs> definitely, um, with the Clippa members and our Clippa, Clippa family. So it's it's awesome. Um, and I am moving forward with these weekly Coffee with Clippa interviews. We're going to be interviewing some of our Clippa members, our preferred vendors. And also, um, if any of you want to be on our Coffee with Clippa, just get a hold of me. You guys can message me on Facebook. I'm available on like, every social media platform in the world, LinkedIn, Twitter. It, everywhere it's it's outrageous like i can't even sleep at night there's just too many too much information out there so you can definitely contact me if you want to be on this this show and talk to us so we're going to move forward and talk a little bit more with ryan about some products s4 has um some interesting stuff going on so you want to give us a little you know idea about what what you are thinking about today telling us about 
Yeah, sure. Um, you know, keeping the installer in mind, whether it's residential, doing one tree at a municipal building, a project too small, to talk to you, uh, so don't feel intimidated about that. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today was, you know, here at S4, we say we didn't invent the commercial light stream, but we have tried to perfect it uh, constantly. Um, we hold quite a few patents related to the decorative light string, and we're constantly trying to improve the technology behind it and ultimately the reliability for you guys in the field using these products year after year after year. In the last 10 years, I've worked with pretty much every manufacturer out there, and I can tell you that certain products don't hold up as well as others. Um, I'm not you know, bashing any of those products in any way. I totally understand that there's a million different offerings and each one has its place in the market. So that's just fine. But what I can say that I stand wholeheartedly behind the effort that S4 puts behind the science, the knowledge, the patented technology and the overall quality control of our products. So let's just talk about the regular light string. You know, a regular molded light string has its weaknesses. And if any of you guys have ever been, uh, you know, on your event or around your project and then it starts raining and the lights turn off, then you have uh, a problem with a GFI or a ground fault interrupt. That's death for an event when it's inclement weather. Some people um, don't know enough of even like what's happening and why trip. Um, you can call me on the phone and we can go through. Uh, the basic that, but let me boil it down, that there's what's known as voltage leakage. And so that leakage is happening where you plug the strand into the wall. It's happening where the, 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 the two-part connector around the husk itself is actually where the LED is manufactured. Those wires don't fully bond. So there's little leakage there. And as that leakage adds up over your entire display, then water's gonna ingress and it's gonna cause failure and those GFCIs are gonna trip. So we have different product lines that develop on this and uh, make that reliability as strong as it can be for you. But what we've come out with this year is we're, we're branding the series, the NXG. And what it is, is the next generation of the decorative light string. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit today because it uses an epoxy filled construction. So where that diode is, the, the LED, and the wires is totally encapsulated in epoxy. So what that means is it's IP66 rated, and there's a total and complete seal there. So even if you're using this next-gen string with a standard plug, which is the most basic form of Christmas decorative light strings out there, we get rid of a ton of that voltage leakage. So what does that do? it increases reliability right so already it's sounding pretty good we've patented the process and a lot of you guys might not know that regular light strings there's a hand assembly process that takes place there some it's automated and then there's a bottleneck on the production line where actual people are sitting there and they're guiding all the lights into a machine that then attaches them to the wire so what we've done is we've patented this process and it's totally automated. So what does that mean? I just told you they're better and they're more reliability, but now I'm gonna tell you they're the exact same cost as what you've been buying in standard plug and in molded construct or in coupling construction through S4. So it's more reliable and it's the same price. It's IP rated. Okay, I have a quick, a I'm gonna interrupt you for a second. I have a quick question. All right, so you're talking about the epoxy connection. So is that where the bulb goes into the little socket piece or is it where the hole is connected to the wire like underneath? I'm just, I'm not yep. sure. Imagine a, a light string and there's two wires. There's the wire coming this way and the wire going that way. And the light is in the middle, right? That body, that housing that's in the light, people, they refer to it as the husk. So husks can take different shapes, they're different sizes, different diameters, all sorts of different variables, but it's still referred to. So what we're talking about is how the husk is holding 
uh, that diode in position and how the wires are connecting to the light so that electricity can run through it. That whole connection is usually a two-part connection that's not not sealed. So there's not like exactly. a bond between the HUD light itself. So that's where the leakage part comes in and the, the disconnection and the outages and water and all that. Yeah. So the IP, yeah. IP66 is the rating for outdoor weather resistant and water resistant, um, correct? That is absolutely okay. correct. And right. um, yeah, and the 66, the first number has a meaning and the second number has a meaning. Uh, the first number is in relation to the size of the particle that could penetrate the unit. And then the second number into the force used to get it in there. So when you're IP66, it's pretty much like saying your dishwasher is safe. Uh, so water can, <laughs> and if you're hitting it with a high pressure nozzle, it still can't get in there. So super reliability there. And um, so it's unprecedented. It's, it's never been done before um, on this kind of automated scale. And we're super excited about it. And the price is what really, because a lot of people, they hear the song and dance. I'm like, why is this product so much cooler than what I'm using? They're trying to sell me this pitch. And then you're going to hit me in the end with more expensive than what I'm used to paying. And um, we're not going to say any of that to you. Uh, we, you know, okay. we took time to develop it so that the price could be right. Yeah. Okay. We have a quick question. So just to inter I don't want to interrupt you too much, but we do have Alex asking yeah. in the chat. We people to interact with us if they're available, they want to ask you questions because here you are, we have access to you. Um, Alex wanted to know a little bit about um, wedding lighting. Um, I know that we are not on that topic right now, but I do know that when I was at your at your showroom in Atlanta uh, last month that you, sh you had a product that was um, able to it move between once you install it like it's Versaline, then you can change out some of the elements from the wedding lighting, like the hanging lights to the drop lights. I can't, I don't have the verbiage because it's not my product, but yeah. do you want to just give a quick uh, rundown about that product just really quickly so we can answer Alex's question? Sure, Alex. Yeah, not a problem. Um, what you're referring to specifically that um, Stacy saw in the showroom was our do it yourself series and our snap and go series. And this is uh, basically to save labor on, on the installer's end for multi-use, uh, multi-seasonal use, multi-event use, uh, you name it. So the idea is to put in an infrastructure on whatever object, garland, foliage, uh, you name it, put an infrastructure in that stays in, it remains in place. And that gives you versatility to put lights wherever you want to, to interact with any of our strand offerings in our Versaline series. There's also some uh, 10 millimeter wide angle and um, other C bulb uh, style lights that you can place anywhere along that infrastructure. So you're not set to limitations like standard six inch spacing or 12 inch spacing or 18 inch spacing. You can literally make it anything that you want um, to customize. And then the beauty of it all is once that infrastructure is in play, we have everything from cafe uh, bulbs on single uh, tethers that you can use to do a nice, elegant dinner, wine tasting, special event, wedding. And then with, with a super quick of a connector, you can then replace that with a nice ponytail style string, any of our Versaline lighting options, our holographic spheres, you name it. So in like less than 10 minutes, you could have one group leave that let's say it was the VFW meeting at your event space. Those guys take off and literally in 30 minutes, you can flip it and now you can have a wedding reception in the exact same space. So opening up designers to let you understand how versatile this product is and truly the only limitation to what you can do with it is your imagination. That's what I have a passion for talking about. That's what all the sales reps on the team have a passion uh, for talking about. And that kind of be a hurdle for some folks. Uh, like Stacy mentioned, we have this displayed on an oak tree and it's uh, that we constructed in our, uh, in our uh, showroom in Atlanta. And it's a perfectly viable option, but people see it in that space 
And they then limit their way of thinking that I can only do a tree. And I don't really have any clients that have oak trees. So therefore, that product is not useful to me. And it's my job to give you a thousand different ways that you could use that same product. So it's super user friendly. What I'll, I, what I'll do is I'll link uh, to Stacy uh, some videos that we have on it and some literature that we have on it. And I think our sales rep in California, Aviv, um, is on uh, this as well. Or if not, he's very active in the forums. And we'll make sure that you get information that kind of shows you the ins and outs of that product line. And feel free to call me and I'll talk you through it. Yeah, so what I what I really like about that idea is because if some of our, our newer Clippa members are looking to get some get into commercial, the commercial type of lighting, and perhaps they have like a wedding venue near them or an event location or something like that, they can easily go in and put this up and, and not have to go back and do all that labor to rewrap a tree or any of that. It's just, it's up and it's there and they can go in and switch it out really easily. So it becomes a really good selling point for them to, um, to save them on labor. I mean, that's, that's huge. I mean, labor is usually like getting somebody qualified to do it and then having that year round, this is an easy solution. You put it up during the season with your, either your seasonal employees or your people who were there for the holiday installation, and then you can leave it up and easily go in and change it out. So to me, it's just super easy and a great product. So um, thank right. you. Right, and you know, we, we, I get to talk to clients of every shape and size, and a lot of business doing this kind of work have leads where you might not want to sell this product to your, you sell the end user infrastructure, but you as the business owner retain the lighting product, and then you have the power to change that out constantly for that client, and it becomes a reoccurring revenue stream for you guys as the business owners. And that can be a big, powerful thing for you because the first couple leases could pay that product off, the third and fourth lease, you're just printing money. And so it's a very good business model to think about, you know, not just using these lights for one single purpose or using them from only November through December, but using them every single month of the year for clients that you have never thought that you might have access to. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Alexander. And then let's go back to talking about your other strands. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, sure. Well, yeah, next, next gen is super exciting. I have, um, I've been the guy where, you know, it's raining on a project and lights are failing left and right. And you have to sit in the bushes with the rain coming down on you and you're holding the button down and, and you're making it happen to keep the lights on. So products like this are just super exciting to me. I can nerd out on it all day and night, but the, advantage to the end user and installers like yourselves is really just unprecedented in the business. And so there's a lot of power in products like this. That's why I'm so jazzed about it to share it with you guys. Um, it's going to be very lucrative. One thing to note, we're rolling it out. Um, uh, we're going to have these strands in stock around the May timeframe. We're going to start with them in the palette of whites. And then over time, this is going to replace the the every color and offering that s4 has this is going to be the future of our light strand business but none of our other strands are going anywhere for the time being we're going to offer this in addition uh to what we have but it's going to be a a slower a steady rollout but if you guys are looking for those projects that you only do warm white you really should consider this kind of stuff it's pretty lucrative awesome that's really great thank you so much for that cool um go ahead Oh, no, 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 go good. <laughs> I'm here to do the quick fire thing or uh, I can pick a product and roll all day. So we can have. Well, um, I don't know if anyone that's watching this was watching my live videos from the showroom, but there was some pretty cool stuff that we we saw there that we showed you. Um, their light, their, their pixel pine tree, of uh, their the light tunnels, all the things that work together. A lot of people are interested in that. The RGB. Um, pre um plug and play kids thank you the plug and play <laughs> so, i can't remember the names of all these things they're so nice fancy right uh, so just a quick rundown about that i know last time we we talked last year we talked a lot intense in depth about the plug and plays but if you can go ahead and give us a quick rundown about that sure 
uh, for those of you that haven't gotten into the RGB game, um, I hear the same thing over and over again. I'm intimidated by it. We just wrap trees. That's what I hear. We're white. That's all we do. Color scares us, but RGB terrifies us. I don't want you guys to be intimidated by it at all. Uh, but what most people are doing with RGB lights, you know, you have red, green, and blue in the same light, so you can make any color in the world. What we really focus on here at S4 is letting you tell emotional stories with those lights. So yes, we're selling you hardware, but also we're selling you the ability to be storytellers and captivate whatever audience you're, you're selling to. So when you have RGBs, you're typically trying to make what we refer to as a creative canvas. You're telling a story of imagery or snowflakes or just beautiful movements of color, whatever it is, on that surface. So we'll refer to that as a creative canvas. Most creative canvases that you see in the field are going to be pole trees. I'm sure most of you guys have seen that. Curtains, which would be similar to the painting behind me, just a flat surface that's telling a story. And then tunnels, which you can walk through or drive through. There might be a train ride or some sort of ride vehicle that goes through it. But those are going to be your three creative canvases that are most widely seen and people try to duplicate and recreate in the field. So what we've done is we've taken some pretty cool lights and we've pre-mounted those guys to wire rope. Some of you guys might not know what wire rope is, and that's okay. It's steel cable that what you're doing is you're enhancing the strength of that light string. So we've all seen light strings in the field that have had a branch fall on them and they rip or tear. You might put them over a pathway and a vehicle comes through and snags them. What we're doing is just giving inherent strength to those light strings so they're going to continue to perform for years and years and years into the future. So we have bottled all this up into prepackaged deals for pole trees, curtains, and tunnels in different sizes. So you can do small, that's 12 feet, and that's the strand length. So you have a pole tree that's 12 feet tall, 16 feet tall, 25 feet tall, or 40 feet tall. The same with tunnels and uh, curtains. So what we've done is we've taken all of the learning curve about that intimidating factor that you guys are scared of or could be scared of. We've given you all the hardware. We've given you all the tap infrastructure and power infrastructure and data infrastructure and everything that you need. They come with a nice, sexy, presented manual that is really user friendly that goes step by step by step. We have unboxing videos. We have all of that to just really get over. This shouldn't be intimidating. And then we bottle all of that with over 11 scenes of preloaded content. So why is this important? Well, in that, we're going to give you scenes that work for Christmas. We're going to give you scenes that work for Halloween, that have spiders and bats and pumpkins. We're going to give you Fourth of July scenes that have American flags and stars and bars and jets flying around. All of these scenes have music that come with them. So right out of the box, you could have your own speaker and you have a show in a box. Well, why is this so important? Well, most people, when they invest in a product, they only think that that product is valuable for the Christmas season. So yes, we're talking about decorative light strings. And yes, a majority of our clients use them for the Christmas season. However, just like the Snap and Go and the Do It Yourself series that I was talking about a minute ago, let's make money all year long. All you guys, a lot of you guys are probably trying to make the lion's share of your business revenue in the same four weeks as all of your competitors. So what we want to see you do is make money in every other month of the year. And this product is designed to allow you to do that. So if you put it up as a poultry during Christmas, awesome. Christmas is over. Take that down. Upsell it to the local car dealership for their specials in the spring put it on their wall, we can make a Chevy logo for you and you can upsell that to your clients. Then take it down and do a 4th of July downtown as a curtain or a tunnel. Multi-seasonal use and multi-configurations. It's just so lucrative to business owners like yourselves. And again, people stumble with 
what can I do with this? How can I make money on this? And I would love to get you on the phone and help you realize that. But what we've done is just taken all of the thinking out of it. You don't have to be a lighting programmer. You don't have to be a computing network genius. Thank goodness. Seminars and like school for three years. Stuff out. And it's just, uh, that's our idea. You know, is easy for you guys to use as possible. So we've just pre-boxed RGB and tried to make it less intimidating. And that's, we have a bunch of videos on YouTube that you guys can check this stuff out. The first question that I get asked all the time, well, if I get a pole tree and it's 25 feet tall, how long is that going to take me to install? Well, Ryan, what do you think I should charge for labor? What am I going to need to put it in? You know, I get questions like that all the time. So there's several time lapses that your sales rep can share with you that I put these kits up by myself in our warehouse. I time lapse it. So you can watch me build a 25 foot RGB pole tree in an hour and 30 minutes in a time lapse video that'll take less than a minute for you to watch. In that time, I test the strings, I lay the strings out, and I physically install the strings. Now, I didn't have a pole there, which most people have a pole for a pole tree, you know, a flag pole or a light pole or some other kind of physical structure. I didn't use a pole in our warehouse. I used rope and pulleys because I didn't have a pole. And that further exemplifies the fact that you don't always need a pole. Um, some people are like, I don't have a pole at this school or this aquarium or this house, this residence or this Christmas store that I'm trying to sell to, and that's okay. I can also give you ideas on what to do when there's no pole, and we can still have a poultry show, and that's okay. But anyway, those videos just highlight to you an example of a guy like me doing it by myself, and, um, and you can kind of get a, a glimpse of what that looks like. So we have all sorts of tools, and um, on the S4I side, our director of S4I, uh, Jared Everline, he makes some of the best documents I've ever seen in the business that boil this super complex stuff down and make you guys will read. It can't be that easy. And um, I was looking so at this document that I got. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. example. You, yeah, it's so yeah. great. Like you can, you can't see it very well here, but it's just so easy. I mean, even me, I can read it and be like, oh, that's what that means. And it's very clearly noted. It's clearly, it's very clear about what to do, how to do it. I mean, you guys took the, you guys really took the, um, the, all that, that effort. And that, like you said, the things that people are afraid of, you took that and just packaged it. It's so great. I'm, I'm excited about that product for sure. We have a question in the, um, yeah. we got to wrap it up here in a minute because yeah. I know that we're all going to our next meeting. So I appreciate you coming on again, Ryan, for this time. It's great yeah. to see you again. And um, no Fox given. I love that. Um, okay. Uh, Nancy says, can you wrap a tree once and change the color of that tree seasonally? I think I know the answer to that, but let's let you answer that question. <laughs> The answer is yes, you can. Absolutely. Um, here, well, there, there, there's some things that we're working on that are very exciting that are going to make it even easier than it is today, which I can't wait to share that stuff with you. But in the meantime, there's plenty of RGB offerings that we have that allow you to do that. S4 also has offerings that are uh, what branded as color flip, which there's two different light sets in each husk that we were talking about before. So we have different color options, which say if you want it to be warm white for the summer and you want it to be multicolored for Christmas, those strands are built with those color combinations already included. So with the push of a button, you can do just that. So there's multiple ways to do that through the S4 product and catalog offerings that we have. But the answer is 100% yes. You absolutely Great. Yeah. And so for Nancy, also, if you do, if you have a question about that, get with your rep um, here at Clippa. I'm not sure who you talk to, but it's going to be uh, either Christy, Chelsea, or Courtney, or you can call me directly and then we can 
the best way to, um, if you have a specific, specific project that you're looking to do, the best way is to send us a photo of the tree you want to start with. And then we can get a hold of Aviv or Ryan or somebody from S4 and figure out what product works best for you within your budget and within your time frame and all of that. Like we're here to help. And this is the best time of year to get on board with this stuff because we want to make sure that we have you ready for the season. And we have a couple months to go and then we're going to be back to installing again for Christmas and everyone's going to be like, what, where'd this year go? And so just remember Christmas is coming and we have a lot of product through S4. That's not just Christmas, right? The spiders and the Halloween stuff, the pumpkin. That's so cool that it's just really amazing. And you guys just don't, don't um, miss your, your uh, opportunity to talk with with Ryan and talk with one of us here at Clippa. Like we're here to help you succeed in your business and to add to your product line and provide your your clients, your customers, the best product available in the industry. And as you can tell from our conversation, cutting edge stuff here. And it's so cool. So the idea we want to develop partnerships with you guys. You know, all of our reps create the relationships with you all individually and lifelong friends. You know, I've had customers that have been to their kids' weddings and we're part of life. We're part of each other's lives forever. Uh, that's the idea. And when something goes wrong in the field, we're going to stand behind it. Um, we have some of the best warranty programs in the business. That next gen product that I started the conversation with, we're offering a four year season warranty on that stuff. So our confidence in the product is rock solid. And I'm standing here telling you that I would use it. I preach that everyone else use it for a lot of reasons. It's not just that I'm trying to wave the S4 flag. I stand behind this product. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up pretty wrap it up now. We're going to let you go for the day. But Alex just had another question about videos. We do have tons of videos. We're going to post it in the in the comments of this this post on Facebook and YouTube and all these places where we're, where we're going live now. So you'll have access to those videos and all of that. So don't worry about that. We have tons of content for you to share with your clients and check out our YouTube channel. S4 has got a pretty cool YouTube channel. Uh, we're building them all the time. I have a lot of how to videos on our architectural fixtures. I know um, the, the clip of clients, uh, you guys are really into our never dim battery powered uh, technology that stays full brightness uh, a lot longer than any of the competition. I linked a video to that, but you can find all that stuff on our YouTube page. We just got a new website, s4lights.com. Check that out. You can go through all the products, you know, from a, um, a residential installation perspective or a professional uh, commercial perspective. And the website really guides and ebbs you uh, through all the different product lines and always feel free to reach out to us. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again so much, Ryan, for coming on with our Coffee with Clippa. And um, we're looking forward to speaking with you again soon. So thank you. Love to you guys. All thank right. you for taking the time. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Bye, everybody. Bye.